Yo, yo, how's it going, guys? Tash from Tiger Tropics. Saw that video from earlier on. Um, yeah, gutting. The whole experience was gutting coming home. The whole um, people doing their nut because fucking water everywhere. Um, my tank giving out, which, you know, anyone who knows me, like, I, I've got great pride in it. You know, it's been a lot of hard work trying to maintain it and it, it just hasn't worked out, you know. Um, but that video was pretty fucking negative, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Uh, well, like I've shown you guys earlier on uh, with the four foot long, I have done something for the fish and it looks all right. But I think it's a little bit too small, a bit too crammed. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm currently looking at, um, I'm on the All Ponds website, trying to think to myself, how am I going to basically muster that sort of money up? Yeah? For a five foot tank. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. You know, to go for a, a, a brand new tank. Found a four foot as well. Uh, it's 280 litres, which is uh, 20 litres bigger than the tank I've got here. Um, I'm thinking, well, ideally, these lot need, are going to need in six months' time a bigger tank. So save yourself the aggro and get it now. Or do I just, um, I mean, what did I find? I found a all ponds, uh, opposite white, clear tank, square tank, um, 280 litres and that was 200 odd quid uh, what I remember and um, I think to myself I need I need a tank for the channel I need to constantly be buying and, and doing and that kind of stuff so when you start losing tanks i.e. selling them to pay bills or um, popping you know that kind of stuff and part of me is really tempted to just pull the thing apart and rebuild it. But I could not justify it if it starts leaking again to the people downstairs. Have to be seen to get rid of it. Otherwise, um, I'll probably end up being thrown out of here. So I don't think that's an option. But have a look at what I've done with my four foot long. See, it's parents put uh, little uh, yellow labs in here, little African uh, cichlids, and this was basically the setup I was going to do. Um, these guys, I think, are a little bit too big at the moment. I kind of feels like they're squashed in together, but um, there's a little bit of aggression between the the Akaras and my poor little uh, Oscar. He's sort of hiding over and look how mashed up he is, man. But the white indicates that he's um he's actually healing, he's growing, which is brilliant. Uh, this dude as well, yeah. So obviously the treatment the treatment did do something. I think I'm going to run a course of uh, Manifix as well, which is supposed to be brilliant for um uh, for healing. Ah, and in here, man. Like literally, I think there's about there's got to be oh, there's got to be at least fifty of these little plecos in here. You know, there's just so many of them. When I went to actually get them out, I was like, "What? There's so many!" But yeah, all these plants I've got to try to see. Plan is this, right? And. Um, it's quite a big plant in here. I'm going to try to get rid of the 70. Um, I've got a light unit up here. Someone was interested in it. They blew out. Somebody else was interested in it. Don't know whether they're going to want it again. That's 50. So 120 there. Um, <clears throat> well, that's 120. I've still got quite a bit to go. Um, well... The Plecos, if I could sell them, which I'm struggling to do at the moment, um, 250 a pop, and they're 50, 
I've got at least 50 in there. Yeah, you never know. So, um, still a long way away from 650 quid. But maybe somehow I can make up the rest and maybe go for that four footer. I really don't know. It's um, the whole second hand things. Now, see there's a the thing. Out in the States, you got uh, companies like Petco. Dollar a gallon. Ah, dollar a gallon. You know? Over here, it'd be amazing to have something like that. You know? So, but we're not in the States, so there you go. But, anyway, just wanted to add this video just to say, yeah, I'm all right. Moment. Just waiting for the sand to dry up. I'm going to uh, hoover the rest of the uh, the sand out of here once it's dried. And then put this up for sale. Basically, whatever anyone wants to offer me. Yeah, because the whole thing needs resealing. I need to pull, uh, pull this thing apart and reseal it. And do you know what? It's a lump of a tank. Don't get it twisted. Like, it, it's, it's quite a big... It's quite a big thing. Like, and you see it, when you see it on, on camera, it don't look as big. See it in person, it's a big old lump of a, t of a tank, you know? And it's going to have, have to get rid of it. But again, it's like the, the bloody dual 180 uh, scenario. Having, like, being forced to actually get rid of the thing. It's a wind up. But hey, um, try to stay positive. Um, and yeah. Yeah, try to make the best of the situation, you know. And I'll say this. In life, here we go, it is a bit of a thing. Uh, in life, you know, you often get the shit hands of uh, situations. And um, all credence to the people that, through thick and thin, stay positive, have faith. And that's what it's about. Having faith. And I'm not getting religious with anyone. Um, but have faith that things will work out. Things will work out. You know. And um, in this hobby, there's always stuff for sale. You just, you don't know. You don't know. So count my blessings. My health's still in place. Today I've got great news. Um, I went to the hospital yesterday. I had an ultrasound on my thyroids. And there was no uh, nodules, uh, so which indicates no early signs of cancer, which is brilliant news, you know. So I'll take that as the blessing today and leave um, these other stuff as annoyances. And uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. But listen, thank you for the people that are supporting me. Trust me, there's some of you out there that are watching the videos now. And um, thank you. Thank you so much for, um, for watching the videos, trying to spread, trying to help. And um, yeah, nice one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, like, subscribe, um, share the videos. And uh, yeah, there's, now, this whole thing's kind of ruined the, the, the upcoming videos now. But we're going to try to get something together for you guys uh, soon. And uh, yeah. Take care, be well, and all the best.